Hi, everybody. Welcome to Art Story Show with Mark Mueller. And today I'm participating in a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving art crawl hosted by uh, Faith of Abstract Possibilities. She is a wonderful person and a great artist. And this was her first hosting, and it has been a blast. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. At some point in time, up in this corner over here, you will see the iCard appear. The iCard will take you to uh, a playlist of all of the participants who are who have, each of us have, have are doing a character and doing our own version and doing our own representation of what we want. It's, these are being done in all kinds of mediums, so don't hesitate to check everybody out. Okay, and my character, which I have two because they're the classic two that should always be together, is Snoopy and Woodstock. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and we're going to get to it. Okay, now I'm going to, uh, I pre-worked this up once, because I don't draw very often as far as cartoony things and stuff goes. Really didn't, you really don't need, you need a pencil, an eraser. Um, this is a Prismacolor, uh, just a black pen, uh, it's almost like a, what they call a brush tip. I got the set of this for uh, like three or four of the uh, different kinds at Walmart, so anybody can get their hands on these. And then some watercolors. Okay. So we are going to begin. Now, Snoopy, I always try to think of Snoopy and them um, as just a couple circles for his head because I've always thought they kind of look like, you know, they kind of fit their character to the, the name, which is Peanuts. I always thought that they kind of, their heads and stuff looked like Peanuts. You know, like the big and then the small. So it's just a big circle, little circle, and you kind of connect that. So it's just try to make it look like a peanut in a sense. And then you're going to do almost a teardrop right here. And when you come up with this peanut and you come down to that peanut, you want to pop out just a little bit. Okay. Because that's what Snoopy's ear is kind of like and how it connects to his head. So you just fill that in like that. Real easy. Just another, you just mimic that first. The, the first uh, thing you did. Then I'm going to pretend I can see where this comes down. And you just want to swoop a little bit and then you want to curve it kind of out and back down in. Okay. Now, this part is going to be tricky, but I always do I like to draw his full body here in a sense. It's, this is going to disappear. Okay, that's, that's going to disappear. But I want to have Woodstock down here. So we're going to make a little circle, almost a little circle ish thing. But, okay, so that's a circle. Then you want to do, I do, because the peanut's arms are weird. So you just want to do a little bit of a hoop up. And then a little bit of a hoop up. You match that hoop a little bit wide. And then you want to, what I do is a circle for, for Snoopy's hand. 
And you're gonna have another circle here, a little circle here, and a little circle there. That's gonna to help to build his hand. Now you're asking, what's the circle here? That's gonna be Woodstock. So we'll get to that in a minute. But I want to, now we're gonna have his other arm coming down this way. So you wanna bring it down like that. And we're gonna do like a half a circle. Because part of it's going underneath this arm up there. And then a little circle and a part of the circle. So that's gonna be his other hand. And it's going to go down into here. And then you're just going to do a little push out like that. That's going to be his tail. You want to get his signature spot back here. Now for Woodstock, he's really super easy. So you want to cut, you want to kind of come up and go whoop. And then you want to come up and go poop, 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 poop. Because this is how he, he's done. He's drawn kind of different. And I want his wing. To go like that. Okay. So now that all those are filled in, back here, and you've got a collar, and that's really easy to do. You just this line like that, and then I always bring it up, just curve it up a little bit, and then bring it down so that gives it the dimension. Okay. Then, Woodstock's face is always, no matter, if you look at him, very seldom is he 100% from the, from the side. It's, no matter what, even if it is from the side head, he looks like his face is forward. That's just how they draw him. And I'm actually going to come in there a little bit more. Now, in Snoopy, we're just going to have a dot right about there, and a line there, and a line there, and then there'll be like a line here for an eyebrow, and the other eyebrow right out. That's how they draw them. They, over, they overlap them like that, okay? Then, we're going to find... Uh, some kind of midway point here. Let's see, I actually want to bring his face down just a There we go. Just a straight line for right now. And you just kind of want to go like this. Because if you watch any of the things, and we'll, we'll make those a little less of a squiggly line a little bit later on here. But if you've ever watched the Snoopy stuff, that's what happened. And then I'm going to put in some leaves. And the leaves are very basic. Nothing big as far as extravagant. They're just floopy, a line and floopy, a line and floopy. Probably one over here, oh, please. So, so I'm falling. And it's just, you know, if you curve this one a little bit that way, a little bit this way. That's what's going to get the curve. 
you know, I have a little thing I like to put up here, which is called, which is just, this is thankful. Nothing overdone. There, a lot of their the, the character stuff they do is not overdone. Now I'm going to take my uh, handy dandy trusty little thing here and just start filling in my lines. And remember, when you're doing filling in this, you just get your black marker, try to stay in the line. And this is how they did them. They you kind of never, you know, there wasn't a hundred percent of anything on the way that they did things. They, they didn't fill them in solid. That's what gives that that, that classic cartoony look. Same with his nose. It was kind of like that. Nothing special. Excuse me. That was not very, 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 very good, but hey. It's cold season. And this is just how you do it with snoop the grass, kind of little squiggle, occasional. Yeah. Actually, let me grab my other one. Just the racers. Now you'll find sometimes when you're racing things, some erasers will dull your black. Just go over it again if you, if, if if it bugs you that much. 
some people it bugs, some people they don't really care. Dropping things, knocking things over. So there's our basic, what we got going on right now. Okay. Okay, now we're going to um, do what I consider the fun part. And I'm using Koi watercolors. Love them. My wonderful, wonderful, wonderful friend Marisa copied these for me, and I just couldn't thank her enough. Get a pre-wet a couple areas. Now you don't want to go too much, just because you know, this is peanuts. And they are peanuts. And I try not to come out here too wet. Now, remember, Woodstock never goes fully. It's just weird the way he colored it. I don't know who came up with it or whatever. Now, I like to use a couple, a lighter yellow, and then I'll come back in with see this darker yellow makes it, you know, certain parts pop better. Just helps add to the dimension in a sense. And then we'll go with a little bit of that. Sneaky signature I call it. Just a fair bit of the darker red, if I can get it to pick up. Red is the detail, just to let you guys know. There we go. I'm sorry for my sniffling or anything else. I sound a little weird. My ears are a little plugged. There's a bit of cold coming on, apparently. Because, hey, why not? Okay, now I'm going to do what I call the harder part first this time. Well, not the harder part, but the larger part. I did my, I'll show you, when I'm done, I'll show you. I actually like my first one. Better than I like this one so far. Not that this one's bad. I just like my positioning of my Snoopy's head more. But you want to be a little bit weird, mainstream, weird color if you want to, I guess. Do you just think this is, you know, back in the 70s and so? They're, they're all about brightness in some senses, but yet not too bright. Here. But one thing I've learned is when it comes to doing things like these, you just got to realize that you're not being, you, you, you know, you, their dimensions were drawn weird back in the day and things were just not the same as they are now for the way things are used or utilized or any of that stuff so and their styles were interesting i mean you know it was they didn't have to have these you know, immaculately drawn grasses or skies and stuff it was like this you know simple edging 
is to, you know, it was the hint of it said here's grass without putting a lot of grass. If you know what I mean. And I like using the watercolor because I can still get, see how like, gives it some dimension here and there, like there's, it's not flat. And that's what I try to avoid is being too slow. But as you see, like other than other than the little bit darker shades here and there that I use on Snoopy and Lipstock, I don't you know you, you know this is all just that was all one shade of green and this is all one shade of, gonna be all one shade of blue. The other thing I'm gonna be doing different here and there is just uh Add a little bit of water if it's needed. And if I feel that this is, these get covered too much by the, you know, my black does, once this is all dry, just go back over with that pen again, just to freshen that black. You do want to make sure you use a waterproofish, you know, water, you know, water resistant pen. Because otherwise you'll be doing this and going over top of anything like that. You're just you're but you'll be smearing it. You'll be going, Ooh, what happened? And then you'll be, you know, texting me or whatever thing. Well, I was doing it, and the next thing I know, I have smudgy black muck. So be aware of that, guys. Don't muck about. And I'm just like squeezing a little bit extra water off here and there when I need to. Just trying to be careful going around my leaves. We'll be filling those in here soon. That one's easy. But yeah, I do like to get into my little Give the ups and downs so that they're filled. Okay. Now, the leaves. Quick and easy. I'm just using a little bit of orange. And I'm trying to keep. I'm just not too super moist. Because you can, like if this was too wet when I put these on here and I got too close to the edge and it was a little too wet there, I can actually suck the uh, color into each other. Which I actually did the first time I did this, did this uh, drawing. Now, you know, don't forget, guys, to check that, check that right there, right there, the eye card and stuff. There are a lot of talented artists, and some are newer, some are old, you know, you know, are more experienced, so give everybody, everybody a chance. You might actually see some stuff you like, some different new ideas, and that's what we're here for, is to, you know, show our different approaches on things. And this crawl actually has um, is a tribute to our hostess's son who passed away. His name is Charlie. So, send a little love her way. Spend a few years, but never, as you know, if you've ever had a loss, you know that it's never over. You now, what I'm doing here is I've just been going back and, you know, grabbing a tick of this, a tick of that, because we know what leaves look like.
and I try to let them over throw each other. Go back in here and there and get it. Okay. Work it out. Blend them in. And well, guys, there you got it. You have your Snoopy. Thank, thankful for friendship. Um, I'm thinking. Yes. Now I'm going to show you my first original one, and I'll show you the difference of what I I like my pose a little better. But as you see, like I don't care who you are, unless that you're redraw, you're unless you're tracing something, you're never going to get the same outcome ever. So, but I do, I do, uh, see, this is my first one. You see the difference? You see that there's just something about this that I captured more, but look. You see where, this is where it bled out because I got too much watery and it went out of the thing. So that's what can happen. But see, this is, you know, this is my, what, what I like about him. Is I just, I, it seems more intimate to me. I think his head was a little larger. Yes. I done his head larger stuff, but that's the thing is you, you know, I didn't utilize this to draw this other one. I just did it. So, but I still love him. He's still a cool Snoopy. He can, he's still usable. And that's never, you know, never think that, oh, I did it once and now I, it, it, it's not the same. Unless you're using a tracing, and even then, you can still not always look the same, guys. So, okay. Well, thank you guys once again for joining this and watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check that icon, guys. And until then, guys, have a good day and zombie hug.